Hey guys, do you want to know how to create a motion graphic flyer using only Photoshop and CapCut? Well be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. So let me start off by saying that this is a pre-made template that I used already, but I, for this tutorial purpose, I merged all the layers individually so that it's easier for us to get through it together. So to make it easier to understand, I labeled the layers one, two, three, four, five, six, with six being the background, five being the text, four being the logo, three being the design, hair designs, two being the information, and one being the tools that's in the front. So uh, when we first start, we're going to look at the text on the layer and make sure that we have it labeled one, two, three, four, five, six with the appropriate labeling to make it easier when we go into CapCut. We're bringing in the designs. We're going to bring in the frame. We're going to bring in the information. Then we're bringing the tools at the end. So we're not going to really go deep dive deep into the Photoshop aspect of it, we're more so going to be focused on getting these layers together to go into CapCut so that once we get into CapCut, with them being PNGs and all, it's easier to perform the task at hand. Now we're going to turn those layer files into PNGs. So I'll go to File, Export, then click on Export As. Wait for the dialog box to appear. Then we're going to go to format and click on JPEG only because we don't need transparency in our image for this one. Click export. I already did it. So I'm just going to cancel it. So for the next layer, we wanted the whole transparency and we don't want a white box to appear behind our image. So we're going to turn it into a PNG. So go to file, export, quick export as PNG. Now we turn it into a PNG because it'll make our life so much easier in CapCut. And as the name, we're going to use the same name that we use for the layer. So we're going to type in six and the name of whatever you named your layer to be dot PNG. Then search for your destination where you want your file to go and click save. Then once you do that for all your files, it's time to move on to the next step. And that's important. Our images into CapCut. Now to import our image, we have to click on import and locate where our images are, find the folder and locate our images. You see, we numbered each one of these layers and that was for a reason. So we're going to work our way backwards, go from number six, which is the background, put that down first. Then we're going to go to the effects and locate the effect. I know what I want to use is called the move track and that's located in trending. So you go to video effects, trending, and look for move track. Quick tip, if you hover over the icons, it'll show you what the effect does. So we're just looking for move track and I'm gonna hover over so that you can see what it's doing. For me, I want my background to be subtle. So that's the reason why I chose move track. Now we're gonna grab the effect, drop it onto your image. And then we're going to move on to the next image, which was number five and drag that down into the timeline. Then we're going to go to effects. Now for this effect, I kind of wanted to just slide in. So I'm going to go to the silky smooth effect, which is also in trending. So let's locate that real quick. There we go. See how it moves. Drag it onto your image. Check it out. There we go. That looks good. Let's do it again. Yeah. All right. So go to the next one. It's going to do the same thing for every file. Drop your image in. Throw an effect on. Drop your image in. Throw an effect on. Drop your image in. Throw an effect on. There'll be times when your image will come in and it won't fit properly to the document. 
or how you made it in Photoshop. So, you know, what you do is go into the tools and adjust the scale to make it fit right. And after that, throw an effect on. Check it out. Make sure everything is right. If it's not right, delete the effect. Find another one. Now, this is square blur I threw on top. It's just something so the intro, you go to opening and intros and find that effect and throw it in. It'll make your project look a little better when it when it starts. So we're going to stretch the timeline for about 10 to 15 seconds. So it won't be so quick. And we're going to throw a glitch effect on top of that. Just so during that 15 seconds, there's nothing boring because it stops after a while. So just throw a, a glitch in so that it does something. Now this part is up to you. You can do whatever you want. Throw in as many effects as you want. Uh, you don't have to throw the effect on top of the image. You can throw it above the image, but that will affect everything. So it's better to just throw it on the image. And after that, export it. Change your title to whatever you want. Uh, my resolution, I like to put it on 4K so that it's high quality. After that, we're going to, you can change your frame rate to 24, but I'm going to keep it at 30. And we're going to click export. And then that's it. Let it save, render out, and this is what this product looks like. If you found this video helpful or you learned something that you didn't know before, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you will be